Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new episode and welcome my friends to a new army inside of COC. So over the last three to four days, we haven't had internet in the house and I've only been able to do single video uploads. That is because my brother Joe decided to break the router by accident. Leave a like on the video if you hate Joe, so I've hit that like button. But basically the internet router has returned four days later and we are going back to double uploads on the channel. So if you want to see double uploads guys, comment down below, hashtag pink banana. If you want to see two videos uploaded on the channel every day, comment hashtag pink banana. But of course, it is time to return to the trophy push. And if we go in here, hit top players, you can see the season ends in 25 days and 10 hours time. So Tony has 25 days to get as close as possible to 6,000 trophies. Some dude is already at 5595, 72 attacks won already. That guy has been absolutely grinding over the last couple of days and uh, we need to see if we can catch him. So obviously I don't want these videos to be boring. A lot of the videos this month are gonna be featured around the trophy push guys. So what we're gonna do in this episode to start it off, we're gonna make ourselves a new army. So we have no troops, no spells, we only have three beautiful heroes which are going to be coming so let's see if we can create a new strategy in this episode and see if it works so we're going to choose some spells choose some troops going for some live attacks and see what happens will we win trophies or will we lose do not forget guys we are giving away $100 this Saturday there is going to be a face cam there is going to be a Q&A so uh, stay tuned I will ask you some questions in a couple of days time for this Saturday now the $100 is going to be given away to my subscribers during the Q&A all you need to do to win is subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the episode. That is it. Sub to the channel, drop a like, and stay tuned for Saturday. So let's build ourselves an army. And to make it as unique as possible, we're going to do something that we haven't really used before. So I will say, we're not really... We've never really used Baby Dragon. Should we try Baby Dragon's Balloons? Let's do it, guys. First strategy, we're going to use, I'd say, eight. Let's use a huge, an absolutely huge amount of baby dragons. So 20 baby dragons, 7 balloons. Going into the spells, we don't need a poison. We don't really need haste spells. Let's go for a triple rage, double freeze, and a... What should we do? A haste spell? Let's do it, guys. Let, let's just try out these armies. I mean, the, the least that's going to happen is a one star. I mean, I can't really see us losing with one of these. So the heroes are ready. We've got the Grand Warden, we're actually going to set him to air. Let's go in for a live attack. So we're going to try maybe three or four actual armies in this episode. By the way guys, check this out. One more star, one star, and we've got the four times star bonus. So one attack is all we need, one star, and we're going to get a load of loot. Now as I was about to say also, we don't really need Dark Elixir anymore because the only thing I have left to upgrade is my Barbarian King. So I really don't care if I have, you know, a really expensive Dark Elixir army. Doesn't really matter too much for me. Hopefully this clouding doesn't start too early, guys, until we reach at least, you know, 46, 4700 trophies. So let's get ourselves a live attack and see what we can find. Here we go, first base we land on and it is only 7 trophies. So we're going to skip that because I, I, you know, I don't want to attack that base. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. So it's got two air sweepers in the center and it's got nice little compartments. Let's see if we can make a funnel. I'm actually gonna funnel some baby dragons. One there and one there. And then on this side up here, we're gonna see if we can um, take out this wall and this compartment using the heroes. So let's do this guys. There goes the archer queen. She's gonna take out the army camp. Barbarian king should swing down towards that level nine wall. I probably, I'm not gonna lie, should have brought some um, yeah, this isn't really working too well. I should have brought wall breakers. Why didn't I bring wall breakers? You know what? It doesn't really matter too much. Let's see what happens at the end of the day. If we lose, we lose. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. The Queen kind of being a little bit silly, swinging around the right-hand side. The funnel's still there, though. We made a little bit of a funnel. Not as much as I would have hoped. And uh, the Barbarian King's actually taken out that whole compartment, so that's cool. Okay, so let's do this. We're literally just going to spam in these balloons. And not balloons, sorry, baby dragons, and see what happens. I mean, the town hall is there. So uh, let's go baby dragons and we're going to keep two back. And then there goes the balloons. There goes the Grand Warden and that single haste spell. We're going to use the Grand Warden's ability really early because I don't want any of my baby dragons, my balloons, you know, die. We got a double free spell. There goes the first one. That, that air sweeper is going to be so annoying, but let's see what happens. We got another free spell going down back on that Inferno Tower. Here we go, guys. Second rage spell into the core. And wow. This has actually worked a lot better than I thought initially it would have. Check it out, guys. The balloons 
have actually done so much work already, and we've actually got a two-star. Not bad at all. There goes a second Inferno Tower. Wow, I'm actually impressed. And we still have two baby dragons. Not bad. Let's pick up some buildings. Let's pick up some percentage points over on that side there. Unfortunately, there's an air defense there. If there wasn't an air defense, we would have got so much more percent. And um, let's see. One more baby dragon, guys. He's going to take us to 59. I'm, I'm sure he's going to grab another percent. Let's do this baby dragon. Go on, one more shot. And it goes down. Yeah, 60%. Not bad at all. And we may as well just take out that cannon. Grab us a total of... 61% and the baby dragon's gonna go down. You know what? I enjoyed that so much I'm actually gonna go ahead and try it again. Do not forget guys as I said $100 giveaway this Saturday and check out the loot bonus. Sorry the star bonus 1440 million sorry not 1440 1,447,200 dark elixir Here we go Treasury and I think we've actually got some loot in there already and that's going to take me to just under 20,000 Dark Elixir. And we've got ourselves some Golden Elixir as well. That that Dark Elixir, sorry, that Baby Dragon attack was so damn fun. I actually, I really want to try it again. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this time, we're going to use the exact same army. Except we're going to drop one Baby Dragon. So we're going to go from 19, sorry, from uh, 20 down to 19. And we're going to bring five Wall Breakers. Spells, I thought the spells were pretty cool. Three rage spells, two free spells, and a haste. Don't really need a poison. Baby dragons completely wreck clan castles. There goes the uh, the Grand Warden, the Barbarian King, and the Archer Queen. Wow, I'm actually having fun using baby dragons. That is something I never expected. Who actually uses baby dragons in this game? We're going to actually ask that in the next video. I want to know what the one troop you use the most is. Not in this episode, we'll ask it inside one of the next ones. Searching for opponents. So my brother Joe, who I told you broke the internet box, actually called me twice there, guys, which is why we had to cut it out. So uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you hate Joe. So searching for opponents once again. I would rather find loot over trophies, but you know, trophies are going to come, loot's going to come. So I'm not really too fussed about either. 10 trophies, but the base is kind of open. You know what? Let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's see what the baby dragons can do against this one. As long as we get a funnel into the core, we should be good. And we've actually got two air defenses down, so this is going to be a good one. Ten trophies. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to we're going to change the funnel up. We're going to attack from here. Barbarian King's going to go in there. Archer Queen's going to swing over, and we're actually going to drop a baby dragon just to take out some of those buildings and make sure the funnel actually works. So we're not going to drop in the wall breakers just yet because that um. That wizard tower's kind of connecting onto my heroes, and I didn't really want that. Let's see if we can survive. Archer Queen's taking a bit of a beating. Damn. Oh, there goes the Queen's ability. I don't think we're going to be able to grab ourselves that uh, that air defense there, because unfortunately the Archer Queen's actually gone down. You never know, you, you never know though. Here we go. Let's do it. Barbarian King. No. Wow. It just about survives. Unfortunately, we didn't grab it. That baby dragon on the right-hand side is torturing those buildings, though. And now we're ready to do this. So another baby dragon's going to go in there and one more's going to go there and we're going to drop one more just there where that one's about to die. As soon as that one dies, that one's going to rage up and now we can go in with the rest into the actual core. So let's do this guys. Here we go, 15 baby dragons. There goes the Grand Warden and there go the balloons. Haste spell just behind. Rage spell right on those baby dragons. There goes the Grand Warden's ability and we're going to drop a free spell over on the left hand side on those buildings. We're going to drop another Rage Spell into the core and a free Spell over on the right hand side on those buildings. Let's see the damage we can do. There goes a Rage Spell onto the balloons. Going to take out loads of those buildings on the right hand side. The Town Hall is going down. For some reason that Inferno Tower took a long time to go down, but it's down now. Two Star has already been secured. Still got plenty, and I mean plenty, of Baby Dragons. Completely forgot to keep one back actually. And uh, we've got the Grand Warden alive. We got balloons over on the left hand side wrecking some of those buildings and it could be a three star this strategy is so fun here we go raged up baby dragon gonna take out the cannon unfortunately couldn't get a shot off onto the actual um onto that archer tower grand warden's going down now only a couple of baby dragons remaining of course they are not raged up because they're too close together one over on the left hand side grabbing tony some loot and it's looking you know 70 plus percent, I'm happy with that guys. Anything over a 100% loot bonus is awesome. So the last few baby dragons over on those buildings there. And you know what, we're going to try this one final time. And we're going to slightly, once again, change the attack strategy. We're going to see if we can tailor this attack to my kind of strategy. So baby dragons, 
Maybe my new favourite troop, I don't really know. But let's do it. I'm happy with the three rage, two freeze and a haste spell. I think that's pretty cool. And I think we're going to go with 16 baby dragons this time. So we've actually, sorry, 18. 18 baby dragons. 8 balloons. Gonna go with four wall breakers and three wizards. So we've slightly, only ever so slightly, changed the attack strategy. Grand Warden definitely needs to be set to where Barbarian King, he's an absolute tank. And the Queen, well, she's the Queen. So let's do this one final live attack. My new favorite attack strategy in the game, and I've only used it twice, but it really is fun. You guys definitely need to try out Baby Dragons if you haven't. This is pretty much the first time I've really tried them without, you know trolling with them so searching for an opponent let's see what i can actually find here we go straight onto this base 13 trophies is it a good one to attack i'm thinking it is yeah let's do it let's do this four wall breakers gonna go in and we're not in unfortunately we didn't get in but the barbarian king's gonna get in archer queen's gonna go over to the right and we're gonna take out that bomb tower with the two wizards hopefully the wizard takes out the bomb tower before the barbarian king arrives there we go Barbarian King's ability has just been used. If we can take out this Inferno Tower using the Archer Queen, I will be over the moon. Here we go. Archer Queen's going to swing in. I don't think we're going to grab the Inferno Tower. We may come close. Let's see what happens, guys. One air defense. At least one air defense. Please, Queen. Don't die. There we go. Queen is still alive. Can she do it? Here we go. There goes the Queen's ability. She's going to go onto the Wizard Tower. Take out the air defense. And onto the Inferno Tower. Queen against Inferno Tower. Cannon, stop cheating. The cannon was a cheat. Okay, so we got that Inferno Tower, two balloons, and it should be mine. In fact, I don't think we're even going to need a haste spell. I don't really want to waste my haste spell. It's just... Okay, this is going to be so close. I really don't think... Oh, no! Balloons! I've just wasted two balloons. Okay, RIP balloons, guys. We're not going to get them back. So now we're going to look for the most loot. I think there's a lot of loot over here. So we're going to do two baby dragons... That archer tower there is actually going to go down, and that compartment's pretty much gone. That baby dragon should have control over that compartment. So now what we're going to do, going to drop a baby dragon there, a baby dragon there, and the rest of them just going to go into there. Here we go. There goes the Grand Warden. There go the six balloons. One balloon's going to go over that side. There goes the, uh, the rage spell. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, making sure these baby dragons can stay alive. Let's see what happens. Free spell going to go down on the Eagle Artillery. Another Rage spell going to go down, guys. And we've got another Free spell with these balloons. Can somehow take out this Inferno Tower. Nope, there goes another Free spell. There goes the final Rage spell. Baby Dragons tearing this base. But there's not really enough fire support, guys. And it looks like this is actually going to be the worst attack of them all. There's so many of them clumped up over on the left-hand side. I think I spammed them in way too close. I'm going to see if I can actually master this attack strategy because it seems to work. Well, it definitely works. It just needs tailored. So leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly. Peace out.